So our next step will be to assemble the envelopes and we are also going to be putting the label inside of the label holder on the outside of the envelope. So I'm all set, I've got it all cut out and I'm ready to use my little score pail and uh, make myself some crisp fold lines. And I'm gonna work my way all around the envelope here and what's great about the wild card cartridge is that uh, they make these little score lines for you um, in order to indicate where your fold should be. So that's one of the best things about that design. And when you use your score pal, you want to start in the middle of your page and work your way out back and forth because if you start at the top and try to come down, you're going to rip your paper. You can also use a bone folder, which we have one of those as well. Okay, so I'm just going to use that and fold these in. And I can, I can use my bone folder to really make myself a crisp edge. So we're all folded up and here's the liner that goes in there um, but before we do that we need to attach our label holder on the outside of the envelope because our liner protects our disc that's inside from being scratched so I like to fold my envelope up And I'm going to be putting, I'm using my insert that we got from the Georgian Basic Shapes Cricut cartridge um, that we used as a guide to cut out for our label on the outside of the box. So I'm just going to put that where I think is the middle. And with a pen, I'm going to mark it. You can also use a pencil. And that's where I'm going to be putting my brad to hold that in place. I'm just gonna make a little hole to start as a starting point for my brad. Push it right through that hole. Now, the other thing is, um, and I just kind of thought of that right here on the fly, if you don't want to um, push your brads through your envelope, you can always just glue this little label to the outside and then you don't have to worry about scratching your disc. The great thing about a project is that every time you make it again you think of new things. So you can just affix that to the outside of the envelope and you know what I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my terrifically tacky tape here. And put that in the center of my envelope. Okay. And that's all ready to go and I just have to flip it over and put the liner in which I'm gonna do right now so let's put our liner in and the other thing that I like to use when I'm doing things like this instead of glue is my ATG gun it's got my tape inside so I'm just gonna put some tape on here all my sides and affix my liner okay so that 
that's all done. And then one thing um, that you have to watch out for is you'll probably notice that when I fold this flap up, it doesn't entirely cover the side flap. So when you're adhering your and securing your flap, you just want to make sure that you keep your tape or your glue on the inside of where that is because you'll end up having glue on where you don't need it. My envelope. Okay, and I'm all put together. I can just fold this down. Our envelope is all assembled and labeled and we're ready to put it in our photo storage box.